Shane, the Tuskegee Airmen, Lionel Richie, and all of those who follow in their footsteps. George Washington Carver was a part of Booker T. Washington's dream, a dream that began in 1881. On July 4th, 1881, when Booker T. Washington opened the Tuskegee Normal School for Colored People, as he called it, in the little town of Tuskegee, Alabama, in addition to having little money to run the school, he had to convince the local white population that educating blacks would not cause them to leave the farms and disrupt the state's economy. But Washington had his own reasons for wanting blacks to stay with the land. 85% of the blacks in the Gulf states depended upon agriculture for their living. Therefore, he did not want to train them out of sympathy with agricultural life. Booker was truly a people-oriented educator. And he saw the tremendous need for the developing black colleges to quit imitating the, the, the European universities and the, the American universities uh, on the eastern seaboard at that time, which have now changed. They, many of them have now taken on many of the characteristics that uh, Booker saw it. And to educate uh, people uh, in ways that would help them develop, earn a living. He never sneered at career education as some people do. Well, Booker took a very practical, kind of hard-headed look, and he took the view, as do most people who view people in the round, that earning a living is a part of living, and that um, black people uh, need very much to have the kind of education that enables them, yes, to answer the important moral and ethical and philosophical questions, yes, chapel was required here, and he brought in the best speakers from around the country, but equally important to know how to make a living, to understand the economic system, to make it work for you, not to be ashamed of earning money, to only be ashamed of abusing it, and to be ashamed of being a beggar.